keep control of the belt, say that it is his, show that it, he gets to claim it time and time again. But Wadi trying to make history become one of the few players who has won a Smash 4 tournament in this venue. Yeah, I mean, not for nothing, it's a very hard thing to do. There's always so much great competition, and it all whittles down to the same two players this time. And I love how, like, this is the first time that these two have played in Grand Finals in this new venue. Some things change, some things stay the same. And let's see if um, one of these players can rewrite things just a little bit to make things happen in their favor. Here we go. Grand Finals already getting started, 55% on the board for ZD. Wadi's looking pretty comfortable so far. He definitely is. This is not how the matches between them earlier started because generally ZD kind of started off with the lead. This time, though, Wadi saying, that was a fluke. I am on to your tricks. And oh. that was Gene. Yes. He kind of baited him into saying, you know what, I'm going to, I want you to Nair so that you can eat this Shadow Ball. I know your Nair will not beat it. And that was just so smart by him. Kind of a Nostradamus read, if I will. Yeah, and now uh, we see Wadi starting to play more to his strengths in the Shadow Ball. Normally, Shadow Ball placement is just so brilliant. We didn't see it as much last night in CD, but now he's using it to move around. He's using it to pressure both passively and actively. He's just forcing so many things with one little red button on his control. <laughs> It's not about the button you press, it's about the timing you press it. Yeah. And Why does it look like a master of um, the timing right now? He is. Oh, a little ill-advised, but, you know, he had the percent to play with it, not even going to lose his stock for it. Very rarely do you get to go for an up smash and miss it against ZD and live. But that up tilt the back air, almost doing it, not quite. Wadi going to have to try to get back on stage again, and oh my gosh, ZD scouted that out a mile away. Beautiful up smash right there. I think he started moving to punch the roll before, like, Wadi even pressed the roll button. That's how hard that read was, was right there. Yeah, that was... I think he made Wadi roll. Like, he, he went for... He dashed and then took Wadi's controller and hit forward. Yeah. Impressive from the other side of the table, too. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> ZD might be a Jedi. But now, even though, like, that read was amazing, ZD still has quite a bit of, like, you know, ground to make up. But one thing, you know... ZD a very confident player. Once he gets going, it's hard to stop him. And a read like that is showing he is indeed feeling himself at the moment, but that back throw might do it. Yeah. Now feeling yourself a little too much, maybe. Yeah, and that's one of the things that I was just about to say. Like, ZD is one of those players who is prone, not against most people, to like overextend. And the thing is, like, I say not against no most people, I really mean against Wadi. Because Wadi is one of those players, like, you give him just one tiny little inch further than you should. And the next thing you know, he'll just throw you in the blast zone just like that. It doesn't take much against him. You always have to be on point. And ZD just got caught slipping a couple times too many. But one good thing for ZD is the fact that he started to kind of make that comeback and was getting his confidence again. So even though he uh, that first stock went so crazy in Wadi's favor, there's definitely a lot of hope for him. And that proves to yourself that you definitely are capable of defeating Wadi. And that conversion right there is, uh, I'm sure, proving it again to himself. Up tilts, back airs, everything coming into play right now for ZD. Ooh. And oh my gosh, why are he trying to get back on? Is he able to? He does for the moment because he goes through the jab on the other side. But it was very short-lived as ZD only has 9% on him and Wadi has 96. Whoa. And I lied, he had zero because that stock was obliterated by ZD. Beautiful up smash right there. Only 9% that entire time. That They're just, even in percent. <laughs> yeah, that, I still can't wrap my head around it. Like, it's so rare to see Wadi in that position, but somehow, some way, ZD just managed to force that stock all the way through. One major thing that I am liking is uh, ZD's kind of with punishing now. He's running into positions so that Wadi would throw out an option, then he's punishing it accordingly, oh, oh but god dang it. Wadi's saying, I turn the tides back whenever I feel like it. He looked like Zeus out there. Threw that thunder thunderball down. That was disgusting. Ew. Wow. Oh, my god. Ye my, man, my man had to take the headset off after that. <laughs> Good gracious. Like this, children are watching the stream, Wadi. You can't just do that. All right, well, you know, ZD, you know, still can't take this game. <laughs> um, it's, it's definitely not out. Um, Wadi did manage to definitely take quite the lead after that. The momentum was on his side, 58 to 108. And now ZD is nearing that uh that range when he can actually die to an up throw as well. Very scary. He might die to an up throw, actually. I've seen it earlier. Oh! 
but he wow. will not die enough though because he trades with a beautiful up smash right there. And that was, if ZDL was at 1 or 2% higher, that probably would have been it. My man was tickling the blast zone, but just barely getting the edge of that, uh, or the better end of that trade. And that was Shades. I feel like Wadi has the most wild um, like grand finals, winter final sets because we saw it against the Buzz um, two weeks ago. Like, they were both in the blast zone, and that time the Buzz got the better end of it, but Karma always finds a way back around. <laughs> And they're going to opt to go to Battlefield. We're going to see if uh, Wadi's able to do something with it. Obviously, Battlefield is known as one of those stages that's better for Fox, um, if you ask the average person. But at the same time, personally, I think that Mewtwo's up tilt is fantastic here. You get to punish a Fox landing safely with a disjoint. And even if you're wrong, you know that it goes unpunished. Mm. Yeah, it's very hard to get around to that space, especially like with the platforms covering you, like you were saying. And now Wadi just has that little playground. Look at him just already air dodge. He's like, all right, I turn invisible. You have to see, what, am I landing on the platform? Am I going between the platforms? It just kind of gives him a little bit more space. Right now, all I see is purple, though. <laughs> there is no guessing happening right now because Wadi Ooh. is saying, you know what? This stock is gone, and you don't need to guess anything. You know where I am. I'm on the stage by myself. Yeah, get at me. And that was a decisive punch right there. And another jab from Wadi. It's rare to see that happen, but um, right now, ZD, he's trying to stick to him. He knows that um, Wadi is so good at building on these leads and just building Shadow Ball and making you scared to fight. So he's like, all right, I'm not going to be scared. I'm not going to show any fear. I'm still, I might be behind, but I'm by no means out. But Wadi's trying to make sure that you stay out. He is. Oh, and that, that may have sealed the yeah. deal. Very unfortunate <laughs> for ZD. But, you know, Wadi just sniping with the perfect placement on that Shadow Ball. Um, and that is a, that's one of those kind of layered edge guards that Mewtwo is capable of doing the Fox, where you shoot a Shadow Ball so that Fox is not allowed to go to a certain range. If he goes to that range, he's going to lose his stock because now he's pretty much forced up B. Um, and if he goes below it, you kind of scout it out with a forward air. Yeah, and we're going to Smashville, but it's still just amazing how consistently Wadi's been able to um, snipe that out and force that position. And now we should know that Wadi is coming from Winter Saw. Okay, uh, and we what? indeed. <laughs> what is happening? A, uh, <laughs> we have, the, I think that was the fastest two stocks have been lost at Xanadu. Um, definitely here. <laughs> um, but anyway, right now, 24 to 0%, last stock each. Close match. <laughs> close match. <laughs> yeah. Good job on both players keeping it this close. <laughs> um, <laughs> But while he's starting to edge it out a little bit, he's getting these good uh, grabs, rack up damage like that. Oh, no. And, Congratulations uh, to Wadi for winning the Senator's 200. Wadi is a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, what can you say after Will, uh, 